Hello everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Unlimited Free Education. So children, today we'll be solving lesson number 12 of your workbook that is Food for All. So let's begin. Question number 1, fill in the blanks. Number 1, the seasons from June to October is called the dash season. Answer, Karif. Number 2, in farming, it is necessary to carry out the task of dash of the land. Answer, tilling. Number three, natural fertilizers are called dash. Answer, manures. Number four, overuse of fertilizers lowers the dash of the soil. Answer, fertility. Number five, dash leaves are mixed with the grains. Answer, Neem. Number 6. Squirrels store dash. Answer. Seeds. Number, number 7. The credit for research that led to green revolution goes to dash. Answer. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan. Number 8. The laws made to ensure the right to food are called dash laws. Answer. Food security. Let's see the next question. Question number two. So write whether the following statements are true or false. If false, correct them and rewrite. Number one. There is only one way of farming. Answer. False. There are many ways of farming. Number two. India is an agricultural country. Answer. True. Number three. Use of improved seeds does not lead to higher yields. Number three is false. Use of improved seeds leads to higher yields. Number four, storing grains is an important task. Answer, true. Fifth one, storing of harvested grains is not as important as the farming operations. False. Storing of harvested grains is as important as the farming operations. Number six, by obstructing the flow of river water downstream, the groundwater level can decrease. Answer, false. By obstructing the flow of river water downstream, the groundwater level can increase. Question number 3. Match the following. Number 1. Grain stored in damp place. Answer. Fungus attack. Number 2. Grain stored in dry air. Answer. Prevents growth of fungus. Number 3. Adding proper chemicals to the stored grains. Answer. Preserves insect infestations. Match the following number 2. Overwatering. Answer. Saline. Number 2. Drip irrigation. Answer. Pipes and holes. Number 3. Sprinkle irrigation. Answer. Sprays. Number 4. Mott. Answer. Oxen. Let's see question number 4. Answer the following questions. Number 1. What are the advantages of using improved seeds? Answer. Improved seeds have higher yield. These seeds resist pest attacks. They grow well and become ripe for harvest in a shorter period of time. Some seeds can give high yield in low water supply too. Question number 2. Which are the modern methods of irrigation? What are their advantages? Answer. Drip irrigation and sprinkle irrigation are modern methods of irrigation. Due to modern methods of irrigation, roots of the crops get enough water. One can save a lot of water by these methods. In modern methods of irrigation, full use is made of the available water. 
there is danger of land becoming saline and fallow when there is overwatering this can be avoided due to the modern irrigation methods question number 3 describe the drip irrigation method answer in drip irrigation method pipes with holes are used for giving water to the plants only required amount of water drips near the plants in this method full use of water available can be done by drip irrigation method let's see question number 4 what are the causes of damage to crops in the fields answer growing crops in the field can be attacked by diseases and pest attacks if the fertility of soil reduce the productivity of fields is also reduced if enough water is not available for crops their growth is stunted all these factors can cause damage to the crops in the fields let's see the fifth one what is done to avoid damage to the crops answer to avoid damage to the crops modern irrigation methods are used to water the crops to reduce the pest and disease attacks the crops are sprayed with insecticides and pesticides seeds used are also improved quality and they are rubbed with certain chemicals before sowing proper amount of fertilizers are used to enhance the growth of the crops question number 6 what causes the fertility of soil to diminish answer overuse of chemical fertilizers leads to accumulation of excessive chemicals in soil this reduces the fertility of soil it also turns the soil saline and fallow question number 7 what changes has modern technology brought about in the methods of farming answer modern technology of agriculture uses improved seeds that give higher yield modern irrigation such as drip irrigation and sprinkle irrigation are used organic fertilizers and manures are used to increase the fertility and productivity of soil pesticides and insecticides are used to protect the crops against diseases and pest attacks through agricultural assistance programs farmers are given information and weather forecast all these changes have brought about a better yield of farm produce question number 8 what are methods used to preserve food grains answer in order to preserve the stored food grains the following methods are used the grain is dried well in the sun and stored in sacks the chemicals are sprayed on the places where the sacks are stacked neem leaves are mixed with the grain to avoid insect attacks protective chemicals are mixed with the grains The smell of these chemicals repels the insect pest. The place where grains are stored is kept dry and airy to protect it from catching fungus. Let's see question number 9. Which law related to food is enacted in India? What is the purpose of this law? Answer Food security law is enacted in India from 2013. Due to this law, every person in India gets sufficient food according to their needs. This law also fights against the ills like malnutrition, starvation and deaths due to hunger. Question number 10. What are the activities done through agricultural assistance program? answer through the activities done by agricultural assistance program farmers are given proper information about the latest technology irrigation facilities improved seeds use of 
fertilizers and pesticides. Farmers are also given information about weather forecasts and other agricultural related information. Agricultural schools have started to teach modern technology to farmers and their family members. Agricultural produce marketing committees hold exhibition for farmers. Various other methods are used to spread the modern method of agriculture. Question number 11. Which parts of plants do we use as food? Answer. Roots, carrot, beetroot, radish, sweet potato. Stems, potato, elephant's food that is suran, ginger, onion. In leaves we have elm, colocasia, cabbage, all leafy green vegetables. In fruits we have pumpkin, tamarind, bitter gourd, snake gourd. In flower we have cauliflower, banana flower and seeds we have beans, lentil, cowpea and gram. Let's see the next question. Question number 5. Write short notes on. Number 1. Green Revolution. Answer. India has become self-reliant as far as food grain production is concerned. This abundant supply of grains in India due to revolution in agriculture is known as Green Revolution. The agricultural scientist Dr. M. S. Swaminathan is responsible for the Green Revolution. Due to research, there was improvement in the seeds of rice and wheat. Such seeds helped us to grow surplus crops. After Green Revolution, we are now exporting surplus grains to other countries. Number 2. Organic Farming Answer. Traditional farming methods using natural and organic materials is known as organic farming. In this method, organic fertilizers and pesticides are used. They do not cause pollution of the soil. Manures consisting of animal and plant products increase the nutritive substances in the soil. The grains grown by this method are nutritious and tasty. More and more farmers are opting for organic methods of farming. Question number 6. Use your brain power. What is the advantage of storing grain in wattle and dog baskets? Answer. Wattle and dog baskets have holes on their surface. This keeps air circulating around the stored grains. The grains do not become moist and thus do not catch fungus. Moreover, there is less chance of insect attacks due to dry and airy conditions. The grain stored like this can remain is better conditioned for a longer period of time. Therefore, grains are stored in bottle and drop baskets. What's the solution? Number 1. The plant in the pot is not growing well. Answer. Keep the potted plant in such a way so that it gets maximum sunlight. Add manure and organic fertilizers to the pot. If chemical fertilizers are to be added, ask the expert about the dosage. Water the plant daily and preferably in the morning. Loosen the soil near the roots. Trim the plant occasionally to enhance the growth. Take care of the plant so that parasitic pests and insects do not harm the plant. If all the above care is taken, the plant in the pot will start growing well again. What is the purpose of storing food grains in our house? Answer. In order to avoid daily committing to market, we store the food grains in our house. Some food stuff is seasonal. It is available only during certain season. This needs to be bought and suitably preserved for storage. Sometimes the shops and markets may be closed causing inconvenience at the last minute. So we need to store the food stuff in our house. 
Sometimes guests may also drop in and we may need more supplies. There may be parties, celebrations or similar occasions when we need more foodstuffs. Some food grains may be sold only at a particular period of time so that we need to bring them home and store. So children, that's the solution for lesson number 12 of your workbook that is food for all. I hope you like the video. So if you like the video, do subscribe the channel. Like it and share it with your friends who need it. See you soon. Till then, goodbye.